That's definitely a different type of Wescoey Wabbit. Ooh, that's a hot mug, guy. Hi guys, this is my review for Jojo Rabbit, the latest film directed by Taika Waititi. I actually really enjoyed this movie. Mainly because it has a very clear message that isn't overly politicized, it isn't trying to push some message, or some gender message, or some political message, or something that right now is just so bogging down the idea of filmmaking, the film industry right now, in general Hollywood. The general message is, Nazis are assholes, and you should be a good person. That's it. This movie does it so well in so many different ways by taking a satirical look at the menace that was the Nazis and making them look like a bunch of dumbasses. I particularly enjoy Watiti's style of filmmaking, especially when I saw Hunt for the Wilder People. That movie was so incredible to watch, not just in terms of how funny it was, but also its characters and its filmmaking techniques. There were some pretty creative shots in that film for such a basic look of a film. And then obviously he killed it with Thor Ragnarok. This movie doesn't have as many, I would say, intriguing camera displays that he did in The Wilder People, but he still has that great character development, that great writing, and that great ability to switch back and forth between humor and emotion, between making you laugh and tugging at your heartstrings. You're following this kid named Jojo, who is a Hitler youth who has Adolf Hitler as his imaginary friend, and he is trying to prepare for being in the Hitler guard and being one for his country in his mind. However, we're seeing that the war is coming to an end. We're seeing different members of the parliament and the army are either totally accepting that everything's gonna completely go kaput. We're seeing the fall of Nazi society and slightly the uprising of people who are wanting to make something better for themselves, as well as the complete fall into lunacy, idiocy, obliviousness, and ignorance that were the Nazis. We see that Jojo wants to be like them, but his heart is still good. We see him at a conflict when he finds out that his mother is harboring a Jew inside his walls. And he sees that all the lies, all the ridiculous, absolutely insane stories and figments of imagination that was told about the Jews are completely false. And he sees that they are just like regular people. And I'll give it to this, the kid is a great actor. So is the girl. Both of these two have very good chemistry. The kid is able to pull off a lot of things that I didn't think he would be able to. I thought that some things may be out of his reach. Uh, some things might be a bit beyond his grasp, but he does a great job in this movie. And the girl is able to emit so much inner emotion just with her trembling jawline that I was going back and forth between fear, hate, and love throughout this whole movie. There are certain scenes that, like I said, they'll make you feel great, and then all of a sudden it just... And you don't even see it coming. It just is there and it hurts and it makes you feel so much in the film. There's a particular scene with the Gestapo that is both hilarious but also quite nerve-wracking. It actually reminds me, oddly enough, of the opening scene of Inglorious Bastards. However, that movie obviously is a lot more of a darker tone. Jojo obviously has a lighter tone, but this scene still emits a lot of those mixed emotions that very, very gripping tension. Watiti's version of Hitler is absolutely hysterical. Just makes Hitler look like an absolute ass, which is just so great. And it's so funny, and it's so uplifting, especially in a time where right now, that certain garbage with neo-Nazis and all this other stuff is actually getting picked up and just being used in a way that it just, we were supposed to fight the Nazis. That's what, we do. Nazis are not good people. They are not good people. And that's what this movie is completely about, and I'm very much happy to see something like that. I miss the days where Indiana Jones just punched a Nazi in the face all the time. Anyways, in the end, I'm gonna give Jojo Rabbit a 6 out of 7. It's a very unique film, it's a very heartwarming film, but it does have its point, and it comes across in a very well-executed way. What well, TD just kills it again. He's a very good filmmaker. I'm looking forward to his next Thor movie, and of course I'm looking forward to what he makes next, and I hope that he gets to make something as unique and as off the norm as this movie is, because I love that he can do that. Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed this review. If you did, leave a like, and if you're interested in more, maybe subscribe. Otherwise, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching the video. It's been a while, but I'm happy to say The Click is finally getting back together in an all-new movie, thanks to a successful Kickstarter campaign. 
But we are still asking for your support. To see any and all updates about the upcoming Undergrads movie, be sure to check out and like the Bring Back Undergrads Facebook page. And with any luck, we'll see you guys soon.